Previously on Dream Team. Dream on, mate, you've got no chance. We'll see. To be honest, Mr. Wallace, I'm finding it difficult to use any of the footage that I've shot so far. Well, with all the swearing and fighting going on in the background. What are we going to do about this? Something to make them work as a team again. Something fun. Hey, wait up! Hey. Fancy Marcel, have you? No. Well, who needs Marcel? Well, you've got me. What are you doing? Don't be such a flirt. You've been teasing with me all day. You've been oh. flirting with me. <laughs> What happened? Use my back. And it's 4 0 at the Dragon's Lair to Southampton. So, where's everybody gone all of a sudden? It's always an early night before a match. Uh oh, how sweet. You footballers are just like children, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, hello, Nikki. Um, sorry, I was in the shower. All ready for tomorrow? Yeah, a bit nervous. We need to get back on track. You'll be OK. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Nikki. Yes, we're here. No, we haven't over the minibar. And yes, we're going to bed soon. Just checking. Night, Nikki. <laughs> night, boys. Try and get some sleep now. We will. <laughs> Same again, bartender. No, no, no. Thanks, Maggie. I can't. Oh, come on. Don't be such a wimp. You're not playing in the match tomorrow, are you? I've already told you. I'm not a footballer. I'm just a chairman. Oh, yeah? Where the real power lies. Uh, I've, I've got to go. Um, you girls will have to get home, won't you? I think Jade's made her own arrangements. Nikki. Hey. Don't look so worried. Just checking you're tucked up safe. It's Ron in there. Yeah, of course. He's, he's sleeping. You haven't got those girls in there, have you? <sighs> no, 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 no. Better not. Good luck for the game tomorrow. Cheers. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Mm. Yeah. I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, me too. You know, it was nice just having someone to talk to since, well, since my wife left. And what would make her want to go and do a thing like that? Oh, it's a long story. Actually, I've, I've got a photo of her here. Yeah, you know, look. It's not actually a very good one. There's a better one upstairs. Maybe you could show it to me. You want to have a look at a picture of my wife? Why would you want to have... Oh. Can I book the wake-up calls for the players? Of course. What time? 8.30 a.m., please. OK. Just put in a computer for you. Thanks. Everything all right? Oh, Mr Doyle. Sorry, I had to be just gay. All president correct, I take it? Yes, everyone's in their rooms. Good. I want them focused for tomorrow. Tottenham's a big game. I can't wait. All right, Nicky. Night, Mr Doyle. Details for the coach tomorrow. <laughs> you OK? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Just leave me alone, will you? Did you see the chairman with that girl last night? Now, was she all over him or was she all over him? Doesn't mean he went for it though, does it? What about Curtis? Oh, I still reckon my 50 safe. He could have taken her back to his room. Not unless it was a threesome, eh, hey, right? Get your money out, boys. The Alexander Technique wins again. You never. Pay up, my man. Bet's a bet. Whoa, no, no, no! We need proof! None of us saw her go upstairs, we are. Yeah, that's because you lot chose to go to bed when Nikki told you to. Me and Mr Wallace got to know the girls a little better. Any mementos? A pair of knickers or anything? Ah, oh, man. Who do you want? 
video? Oh, Curtis. Honeymoon, mate. Ooh. Result. Stand corrected. It's a big afternoon for Harchester United, and the players really must deliver for their loyal fans today. It's been a wretched spell of form. That recent defeat against Southampton hurt very much. And to relieve the pressure all round, Harchester look for a vital three points today. They do have manager Patrick Doyle back in harness again after his recent illness. But Tottenham arrived today, Teddy Sheringham and all in a rich vein of form. This will be no easy match for Harchester, who can welcome back Fletcher and Walsh after injury. Spurs have available Gus Boye and Darren Anderson. Now, it is important that when Robbie is wide, you, Marcel, get into the box as often as possible. That way we'll stretch their defence, leave a man over, and we should get some joy. Especially if you keep crossing the ball in early, as you have been in training all week. Fletch, their defence is tough, so I want you to pull your marker in deep, and then you, Curtis, get behind the defence, use your pace and outrun your man. No problem. Right. Now, I want to see all of you getting in there hard right from the start. I'd... Excuse me, but who the hell let you in? I'm Detective Inspector Anderson. This is Detective Inspector Butler. Well, I don't care who you are. This is a private area. And this is a criminal investigation. Which one of you is Curtis Alexander? I am. What do you look one with you? What's wrong? Curtis Alexander, I'm arresting you on suspicion of rape. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you fail to mention when questioned something you may later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be taken down and used in evidence against you. Uh, we better go straight to our seats. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Slightly old bill. Excuse me, he's meant to be playing. Where are you taking him? Who are you? I'm the owner of this club, and that's my player. And he's coming down the station for questioning. It's Phil Wallace, isn't it? Yeah. Good. We need to question you too, and the rest of your players. I'll be back after the match. You need to talk to me. About what? About your movements last night, sir. Oh, right. This is what we're going to do. Ryan's going to come on for Curtis, and we're going to play Fletch up front. Excuse me, Patrick. What are you talking about? Curtis gets arrested, and you want us to go out there and play? It was probably just a misunderstanding. Why do you think I have Nicky checking on you all? And apart from that, I don't think 25,000 paying punters are going to hang around until he's released. So why don't you all get your asses in gear and get out there and concentrate on what you're supposed to be concentrating Come on. Come on, lads, he's right. Ryan, you're playing. Get stripped. Now let's go out there and show them what we're made of. Come on, lads. <laughs> What's going on? Some silly little girl has accused Curtis of rape. It's probably nothing, but uh, you better get the club solicitor down at the police station just in case. Right. I can't believe this. Don't stress yourself. This sort of thing happens all the time and nothing ever comes of it. I can't lie to the police, though, can I? Can't lie about what? Did you see Curtis with a girl? Well, yeah, in the bar, yeah, but... What is it, Phil? Well, last night I... Uh... The girl Curtis would be there, mate. You and she? Not exactly, no. You dirty dog. It was a momentary lapse. I don't want Jackie to find out, do I? I, I can't lie to the police because they'll probably arrest me or something. Just tell them what they need to know. What happened in the privacy of your own room is none of their business. That's just it. It wasn't in the privacy of my own room. It was in the lift. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody saw us. Maybe not. But if I was you, I'd be more concerned about the security video. The lift has a camera in it, you schmuck. Did I miss anything, Nick? Probably starting. Oh, brilliant. I knew he could do it. And Curtis was meant to be around to come out instead. Don't know why. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the Harchest United starting 11. And one thing I have to say straight away is that Curtis Alexander, named on the sheet, does not kick off this match. There's clearly been a late problem with Alexander. So, in his place is Ryan Naismith. He gets a start. Remember, Carl Fletcher and Robbie Walsh both returning for manager Patrick Doyle after injury. As Tottenham Hotspur bring an excellent record here to the Dragons' lair, defend the goal away to our right in the opening half. Here's Sabatier. Support from Ryan Naismith if he needs him. It's a decent start, this, from Harchester. Sullivan is wide. Can he get his cross in? He can. 
And Robbie Walsh is there with a the header. And you're quite sure she consented to having sex with you? Yes. Why else would she come up to my room? Hmm? So it's your view that when a woman enters your hotel room of her own free will, she's expecting sex? No. But she was well up for it. Just ask the lads. They saw her. We'll be questioning everyone in our own good time. This has been a fairly even start to the match. Sabatier. Now Walsh. And they're backing off here. Tottenham Walsh can shoot! And turned up and over pretty well by Casey Keller. Robbie Walsh denied. And Glenn Hoddle not happy with the marking there. Uh, excuse me. I need a favour. How can I be of help, sir? You know the security camera in the lift? I don't suppose there's a tape from last night, is there? Tape, sir? Uh, yeah, you know. You, you must record everything. Yes, sir, I believe we do. Good. Um, uh, I, I was wondering if there's any way I can get hold of it. I see. Well, there might be. Oh, right. Um, how much would it take to check? How does 500 sound? Not as good as 2,000, sir. Right. Got them finding some useful space here. And Sheringham turns and hits. Speculative effort. Worth a try from Teddy Sheringham. Patrick Doyle not happy with the marking. Let's go over this again, Mr Alexander, and this time more carefully, please. How did you meet Miss Riley? I told you. She approached me in the bar. And you say your work colleagues were with you? Yes, sir. It was close to curfew. That's when she turned up with her friend, Becky, I think her name was. And she approached you? That's right. Oops. I should watch where I'm going. Sorry, darling. You've spilt some on my shirt. Johnny. Let me. I guess I'm going to have to buy myself another drink. What are you having? How about champagne? So, you were drinking with the players? I was. Um, they weren't allowed to something about playing the next day. So, Mr Alexander wasn't drinking alcohol? No. Would you say you were drunk? No, not at first. Maybe I was a little when we went up to the room. How did you end up going to his room? Well, he suggested it, in a sort of roundabout kind of a way. Everyone was asked to go to their rooms. It's that time again, guys! Okay, baby. Don't run away now. Are you in there? I think so. Yeah, me too. I'll be checking you all in your rooms in 15 minutes. Does that mean you've got to go? So. But you could always walk me back to my room. Check I get there safely. I'd really like you to. I bet you would. <sighs> he was quite charming, I suppose. I definitely found him the most attractive. But I never was good at picking men. Good spell of possession, this, for Tottenham. Jamie Redknapp well forward here. Simon Davis taking it up now for Tottenham, attacking the Harchester penalty area. Redknapp. Still, Harchester can't get out. Here's Etherington, space for the shot, goal! Really well struck by Matthew Etherington. And it had been coming. Patrick Doyle, a rueful shake of the head. Where was the marking, he wonders. So, you led her into your bedroom? No. <laughs> it was mutual. She was more than willing. Going in or what? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, at this stage, you were quite happy with proceedings? Yeah, I guess so. What happened after that? We were kissing. I knew he was trying to lead me towards the bed. I was feeling really thirsty. Hey, where do you think you're going? Just to get a drink. 
Come here. Easy, tiger. <laughs> now you really do have the most gorgeous skin. Makes me want you right now. No! <laughs> well, you definitely said no to him. Yes, several times. She's lying. I never raped her. She wanted it as much as I did. How do you explain the scratch on your chest? What? The scratch on your chest, mate. We took traces of blood from under Miss Riley's fingernails. Of course, we'll need to take a sample to test if it matches yours. All right, all right. It was mine. She scratched me. I was probably a bit physical with her, too. Tell us what happened, then. <sighs> OK, she says she wanted a drink. She was feeling thirsty. I'm, uh, thirsty. I told you, baby, I can't drink. Come here. You've got a pass, Shannon. Mm. Mm. You've got a pass, Shannon. Mm. It's called peace. Mm. You've got a pass, Shannon. Quite the tiger, aren't we? You've got a pass, Shannon. You really do have the most gorgeous skin. Where's your money right now? Oh. So it's like that, is it? <sighs> and that's when we had sex. What about the shirt? I told you. I undid the buttons. That's how she could scratch me. Not your shirt, hers. What about it? Did anything happen when you undid the buttons of her shirt? No, like what? It didn't tear at all? No. Not even accidentally? How many times? No! What is this? If what you say is true, Mr Alexander, how do you explain the shirt being ripped? Jamie Redknapp then with the Tottenham free kick. Ferdinand and King both in there. Danger here for Harchester. Danny Potter needs to get hold. He couldn't get hold. And eventually, Harchester clear. But only just as the half-time whistle goes. And they were somewhat fortunate not to concede again there. Harchester trail at the break by a goal to nil. The goal scored by that man, Matthew Etherington. Marcel Sabatier has a job on second half. Now we're lucky. We should be two or three down. Ryan, play further up the field. Robbie, I want you to attack through the centre alongside Marcel. Fletch, make yourself available. You're wandering around in no man's land. What about Curtis? I don't know. And until we get some news, there's nothing we can do to help. So why don't we concentrate on what we can do and get back in this match? Come on, lads, Scaff is right. There's nothing we can do about it right now, so let's just clear our heads and focus on winning this game. Come on, get into it, will you? You're letting yourself down. So, Nicola Peggs knocked on the door after you had sex. Yeah. Did she see Miss Raleigh in your room? It wasn't exactly the right moment for introductions. What happened after Miss Peggs left? Jade was in my bed. Babe, I think you should go, you know. Excuse me? I think you should go. Well, come on, don't be like that. Well, what do you want me to be? Grateful? Oh, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I've had a wonderful evening. Oh, wait a minute. And maybe I don't want you to go. You don't want to get into trouble for having somebody in your room more like. OK. OK, maybe I was a bit insensitive. But it's just I'm not used to anyone spending a night with me before a match. It ruins my concentration. And that's supposed to make me feel better, is it? Look, darling, yeah? We both knew what this was all about from the start, all right? What's the point of trying to make it something it's not ever going to be? But I don't care what she says. Her shirt was intact when she left my room. So you don't have any explanation for how it was damaged at all? How should I know? Why don't you ask her? I want to see this out. Oh, man. Here's Fletcher. Right start needed to the second half from Harchester. Header back from Walsh. Sabatier with a chance. Turned away by Casey Keller. Good drive from Marcel Sabatier. And that is what Patrick Doyle's been looking for. Did you see who was at the door? No, it was a woman's voice, but that's all I know. No. Well, why didn't you try and cry out to her if you were in such distress? I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted to get out of there and I couldn't. 
That sounds so silly, but I was frightened. He just acted like nothing had happened. You better go now. Come on, hurry up. Wait a minute. Anyone ask you? You weren't here, right? Right? I walked down the corridor and I went downstairs. Did anyone see you in the corridor? No, I don't think so. What about when you got downstairs? Did anyone see you then? I don't remember. Try and think through your movements. There was someone, a girl. <laughs> Are you OK? <gasps> Yeah. Are you sure? Just leave me alone, will you? <laughs> Good spell for Harchester. Here now is Walsh. And Fletcher's free. Carl Fletcher scores! Oh, really well taken. It's 1-1 at the Dragon's Lair. And the golden boy, Carl Fletcher, delivers again. And just look at the delight on the Harchester bench. In stark contrast, Glenn Hoddle. Did you recognise this girl? Had you seen her before that evening? I was in such a state. Try and remember. She was in some kind of uniform. Hotel staff? Yeah, she must have been. Just seconds remaining here now. Carl Fletcher looks long and Naismith might get there! Oh, he nearly did. It was almost the perfect way to pass from Carl Fletcher for Ryan Naismith. May well be the last opportunity for either side. Indeed it is. Full time at the Dragon's Lair. Patrick Doyle seems satisfied. So too the Harchester goal scorer Fletcher. In many ways it would seem on a normal day like two home points lost. But given their recent poor runner form, it's a point gained here for Harchester against what had been a very much informed Tottenham. 1-1. One, one. This is great for you to come back, isn't it? Sorry. Well, if you ever need anything. Sorry, are you Nicola Pegg? Yes, who are you? Great, can I just have a word, please? Sorry, I'll come and find you in a minute. Thank you. Thank Thank you. I'm Detective Inspector Butler. Um, I understand you're the team coordinator, is that right? Yes. Great, I need your help gathering all the players who stayed at the Grange. Last night, I'll be interviewing them in the boardroom. Interviewing? I've cleared it with your boss, yes. An allegation of rape was made against Curtis Alexander. Uh, we'll be questioning everyone about last night, including yourself. Right. OK, boys. Just wait in here. Nicky will come and get you when the police are ready. What are you going to ask us? But we think you raped her or not? No, you muppets. They're only allowed to ask us what we witnessed. Anyway, Curtis could never do anything like oh, that. How do you know for sure, huh? We all saw him last night. He was all over that bird. What did you see? All right, now listen to me. I don't want you lot getting this blown out proportion. The police are going to ask you a few simple questions. Now, I don't expect anybody to lie about what they saw or heard last night, but in all other respects, whether it's to the press or anyone outside this club, I expect you to show support for Curtis. Just because things look bad for him at the moment doesn't necessarily mean that he's guilty. A scenario which I'm sure one or two of you are familiar with. How long are you going to keep me in here for? Huh? Yeah, I'm just about to start now. No, no, like at all on the witness. I checked all the female hotel staff. Yeah, I'll call if anything comes up. 1-1, one, one, Fletcher with a jam equals Mr. Wallace, you were in winners last night, weren't you? Yes. I'll call you back. I was waiting for Marcel Sabatier, but you'll do just the same, shall we? Sure. Oh, looks like your first victim has arrived. I will need to talk to you later, though. Ready? Yes. Thank you, Miss Biggs. Have a seat. You know why you're here. How would you describe what happened last night? Both girls were looking for action the minute they walked into the hotel. So you noticed them before they entered the bar? Yes. They were on reception. Well, let's take a look. Whoa. Looks like my luck might be in after all. <laughs> Come on, girl. So you're telling me, Curtis? 
was the only one interested. Pretty much. None of the other lads took an interest. Yourself, even. No, I'm married. She was fit, though. Too fit for Curtis to pull. That's why I thought my money was safe. Your money? 50 Smacker says I'll have one of them by the end of the night. Ooh. <laughs> it's like the saying goes, man. You got a score, to score. <laughs> I should watch your own guy. Sorry, darling. You spilled some emotion. Did you actually see them leave together? No. I'm pretty sure he took her up there. Why is that? Because I share my room with him. Did you ever go to the room? No. Everyone was leaving. It's that time again, guys. Don't run away now. Make yourself scarce tonight, yeah? Give me one good reason. And I'll let you off the 50 quid tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Naismith. That'll be all. Hey, lads, here he is. How did it go? Yeah, it's all right. Don't fancy his chances much, eh? What are you talking about? What did you say to them? I just told them the truth. He told me to keep clear of our room. Ah, OK. Oh, what was I supposed to do? We are his friends. That was a really stupid thing to do. Look, Ryan. Leave him, first... Stu. Eh? Let's not fight amongst ourselves. Just get off my case. It doesn't exactly look good for him anyway, does it? I mean, are never sure he didn't do it? Please, have a seat. <laughs> Mr Wallace, I understand you spent most of the evening with Miss Becky Piper. Yes. We all did, collectively. But you were alone with her, Mr Alexander and Miss Riley, towards the end of the evening, is that right? I suppose so, yeah. For a short time. Did you see Mr Alexander and Miss Riley leave together? Yes. How do they seem? Friendly? Flirtatious? Yeah, they seem friendly. Good night, Mr Wallace. Oh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. What could he mean? You stay in the bar long after they left? Not at all. Becky, I mean, Miss Piper? Miss Piper. She, she had to go home. I, I called her a cab. OK. That's all, Mr Wallace. Thank you for your time. Oh, thanks. Miss Peggs? And you're sure you didn't see into his room? No. I didn't even know if anyone was in there. If I had, I'd have to report it to Mr Dill, the manager. Would you say you know the place? Yeah, I'd say I know most of them quite well. How well do you know Mr Alexander? I'd say that we're friends. Was there anything strange about the way he was behaving? You haven't got those girls in there, have you? Better not. Good luck for the game tomorrow. Cheers. He seemed a bit on edge, but I expect if he had a girl in his room, then he'd be afraid of getting caught. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary that night? No. Thank you, Miss Peggs. That'd be all. The match finished 1-1. Thought you'd like to know. I think I've got more important things to worry about, don't you? Your solicitor has arranged bail, pending further investigation. What does that mean? It means you shouldn't make any plans to go anywhere. Nikki, um... You haven't seen a VHS lying around, have you? A VHS? What are you doing here? 
I thought you'd be down at the police station with Curtis. Why? What's happened? He's been released on bail. Well, the press will be there then, won't they? I mean, I'm not sure we should be involved. That, that's exactly why we should be involved. The club needs to be seen to be standing behind Curtis. But he might be guilty. If he is, then he's on his own. But until then, we give him 100% support. Here comes. Hello. 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 And we do not believe there is any truth in the allegations made against him. What I, that's it, guys. What, what, that's it, guys. That's please, it. Thank you. Oh, come on, please. Oh, she up, Look, I can do it. Here, you can actually jump in. All right, all right. Thank you, thank God. What are you doing here? Look, man, the press are after me everywhere else. I couldn't think of anywhere else to go, and I knew I could rely on you. I hope you don't mind, do you? I'm not sure it's such a good idea. What? Nicky, you don't think I did it, did you? Hi. Everything all right for me to move in? Yeah, go through. Make yourself at home. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Make yourself a cup of tea or something. I would have thought you of all people would know I could never do such a thing. This is me here. I can never attack anyone like that. Is this about my brother again, huh? No. Then what is it? Have you been walking around in fear of me pouncing you all this time? No. I thought we were friends. It's not like that. Then what's changed? Has someone told you something? Did you see the girl leaving my room? Is that it? Who else did her shirt get ripped? I never ripped her shirts. All right? So is this what it all comes down to? Don't you get it? She probably ripped it when she got home to make it look like I did it. Why doesn't anyone believe me? Look, I think you should go. He's gone. Oh, I don't know what to believe. Good start to you moving in, not. I don't know how to tell you this, Nikki. He tried on with me at paintball. I'd give him a wide berth if I were you. <sighs> you know what? Forget the tea. Let's get ourselves a real drink. Need one. Good morning, Miss Peggs. Oh, good morning. What can I do for you? We've just had a chat with the Grange Hotel receptionist. We need to ask you some more questions. Well, the receptionist went into the office to organise the wake-up calls, and that's when Mr Doyle appeared. Well, what happened after that? We had a brief chat, and Mr Doyle went to his room. So you were alone in reception? That's right. And you saw no one else? No. Are you sure about that, Miss Peggs? No one came from the bar? The restaurant? Lift, perhaps? No. I should remind you, Miss Peggs, that withholding information in a police investigation is a criminal offence. I'll ask again. Did you see anyone in reception? OK, I saw a girl, all right? I was about to go home and she came out of the lift. You OK? <laughs> How did she seem? Upset, like she'd been crying. I asked her if she was OK. She said she was fine, but then... How did she look? Her shirt was ripped. Yeah, good boys. Great luck. Jackie, I'll get back to you. What are you doing here? I've seen the newspapers. As soon as I heard about Curtis and that girl, I came straight down. I knew you'd need my help. I can't believe you're back. Doesn't mean I've forgiven you, though. Sorry, I'm late, boss. Doesn't matter. See Stuart. All right, boys, that'll do you. Come and get your bibs. Curtis. Marcel. Peter. Buzz. All right, there you go, Tomo. 
All right, blues at the top end, bibs down here. Go and get changed. But gaff now. I can't make head nor tail of this. Can you sort it out, please? This is getting ridiculous. Even our own players won't side with him. We need to do something. Well, what do you suggest? I don't know, but we can make a start by getting the fans' support, so, uh... How about Curtis's greatest moments on HUTV? Sounds good. Yeah. Tara, do you think we could transmit that tonight? It's a bit tight. Good. Well, get cracking then. Ah, Jackie, how lovely to see you. I want a word with you. My pleasure. What did the police want? More questions about Curtis. What did you say? That I saw the girl after she'd been in Curtis's room. And my clothes were torn. Well, after what you said yesterday about him trying it on with you. But that doesn't mean that he did anything to her, though, does it? You can't be sure, Nikki. Plus, you only told them the facts as you witnessed them. But what if he is innocent? I may have just given evidence that convicts him. Yes, I mean, no more than he deserves. How can you say that? You don't know what happened to him any more than I do. Oh, I've got to go see him. Are you sure that's a good idea? I've got to talk to him. Why? I just do. Go carefully, yeah? What are you watching? I don't know. It's like some old lady in a lift. <laughs> I was wondering if we were ever going to see you again. You are as well, I trust. Cut the crap, Patrick. This girl, Jade, is she your doing? Because if you think that I'm going to sit back and let you destroy the livelihood of one of our best players, you have got another thing coming. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. You're playing a dangerous game, aren't you? Three draws in three games? Doesn't look like relegation form to me. Well, as long as we don't go over 40 points, we're going to be all right. But after the 4-0 defeat, I felt it prudent not to lose any more. I, mean, I don't want to get the sack, do I? Ten minutes ago. Oh, you don't know where to by any chance? He went with a man and a woman. Thanks. Did you see the girl coming out of my room? Is that it? Did she tell you I raped her? I'm telling you, I never ripped her shirt. She probably ripped it when she got home to make it look like I did it. Earlier, the weird one with the old lady in it. Wait, here it is. Right, put it on. So what's on it? I'm not entirely sure yet. So what? Wait, wait. I see what you mean. <laughs> it's Mr. Wallace. What's Mr. Wallace? Uh, nothing. Him cheering in the crowd at one of Curtis's goals. You know how enthusiastic he gets. Tell me about it. That was close. Do you think she knows? No. I don't know how to hit him. Looks like he didn't. <laughs> Is this what you wanted to see? No, I thought that maybe... Oh, my God! 
This is Detective Inspector Anderson with Detective Inspector Butler present. Curtis Alexander, you are charged with the rape of Miss Jade Riley. Shall we go? Uh, Mr Wallace, do you have a moment? We need to show you something. Can't it wait till tomorrow? No, not really. It's the Curtis compilation you and Patrick asked me to put together. I'm sure it's fine. I trust Mr. you. Mr Wallace, please. I really think you should see this tape. Why don't you go home? So much for our quiet night in. I won't be long, I promise. What do you intend on doing with this? Take it to the police. What? I only snogged her. Look, you don't understand, Mr Wallace. It's what's on the rest of the tape that matters. Who's that? That's Jade. What's she doing? She ripped her own shirt. See what it means? It means that Curtis didn't rape her. Look, it's really not that bad, Mr Wallace. Like you say, you only smoked her. Well, it's bad enough. I mean, what if Jackie found out? Oh, we won't tell anyone. Will we, Nick? No, of course not. But we have to take it to the police. All right. Just let me come with you. Up, you miss? Hi, we need to see a Detective Inspector Anderson, please. Detective Anderson? Yes. OK. Mr Alexander, some new evidence has turned up that puts a different complexion on events. You what? We're dropping the charges. You're free to go. So what do you say about Becky? Well, he said the bit with me and Becky on the tape is entirely irrelevant to the case and they won't use it if they prosecute Jade for wasting police time. And you won't get in trouble for withholding evidence? Nope. Just gave me a stiff telling off. Here he is. Thank you. Pleasure. Just wait there, will you? Can I have a word? Just one question. Why? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Do you have any idea what you just put me through? Come on, Curtis, leave it. You made me angry the way you treated me, just kicking me out of bed like that. Or maybe I was foolish to think you'd want anything more from me, but I really did like but it. But you've got a funny way of showing it. Maybe now you'll learn your lesson after what you've done. Yeah, I bet you won't, though. Come on, let's get you out of here. Yeah. Look, don't beat yourself up over it. It's over. Yeah, but I was lucky. If that tape hadn't have turned up, I would have been in mad trouble. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> if I'd have known what was on it earlier. You what? Well, I would have brought it straight in. You had the tape? Oh. Yeah. Since when? Well, since the match yesterday. When I was arrested? And you did nothing? I don't believe this. Look, it's not his fault. He didn't know what was on it. You can shut up and all. You said plenty enough You're already. You're trying to help. Well, thanks for nothing. In the future, I can do without it. I've been cooped up in that place long enough. Where are you going? To play some football. Coming soon on Dream Team. Well, what do you reckon? I want to know where my house has gone. Morocco. That man has ruined my career. Why have I seen this before? That is what I'm trying to say. I'm one of you! Is there anyone in this room that doubts my love for this club? Yes! Yeah. 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 I own you. Patrick's not our friend. What do you mean? We're overreacting to this, really. I think it's time for us to part company. <laughs> Tonight at 10, Sky 3 takes the plunge and explores our fascination with a certain deep-sea predator in When Sharks Attack. <laughs>